Hi, let's see the solution to the previous question. Here in the figure, we have to express z in terms of x and y. Okay. So, we see in triangle ABC, okay, the angles that form a linear pair are normally supplementary. So, we will use this particular uh, concept to find out what is angle ABC. Okay, so if you see in the figure, angle ABC plus Y is equal to 180 degree. Yeah, that's the first thing that we write. So angle ABC plus Y is equal to 180 degree, which means angle ABC is equal to 180 degree minus Y. So similarly, we can also find out angle ACB. Okay, so if you see in the diagram, angle ACB plus angle X is equal to 180 degree. Therefore, angle ACB is equal to 180 degree minus x. Okay. Now, if you see the angle z, okay, you have angle B, A, C and z are vertically opposite angles and they are equal. So, we can write as z is equal to angle B, A, C. Okay. Now, we have got all the three angles. Now, using the angle sum property of the triangle, we can write angle, all the three angles within the triangle are equal to 180 degree, which is angle B, A, C, plus angle ABC plus angle ACB is equal to 180 degree. Substitute all the three values. Okay. So, instead of BAC, you can write Z. Instead of ABC, we write 180 minus Y. Angle ACB is equal to 180 minus X is equal to 180 degree. Yeah. Just solve for it. So, we can write 360 degree plus Z minus Y minus X is equal to 180 degree. You can take 180 from uh, just simplify it, okay, from L RHS to LHS, so you have 180 plus Z equal to Y plus X or Z is equal to Y plus X minus 180 degrees. So, we have expressed Z in terms of X and Y. This is how you solve it. Do try it yourself. Thank you.